Hello everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.com and welcome to my craft room. We're going to make this sweet little birthday card in just a minute with the Hello Cupcake stamp set. This is a celebration item. You can get this for free with a $50 purchase. And then I used the new Call Me Cupcake framelits. These will be released on March 1st. Let's take a look at everything that's going to get released on March 1st. Here it is, a beautiful stamp set, more than words, and this is a two-step stamping technique uh, stamp set, so that is a lot of fun. And then we're going to have framelits for everything that, um, or a lot of things, not everything, but for a lot of things that are in our celebration catalog. And this is the catalog um, that you get to pick free items. This is going away, I can't believe it. We only have one more month, a month and a week really, until March 31st with our celebration items. Now these will be released March 1st. And um, I don't know if they're gonna be carried over. These are the framelits to the Lasting Lily stamp set. Call me Cupcake, hop around for that adorable little frog in there, and then the Four Seasons. I love this Four Seasons. Then we have the Story Label Punch. This goes with, um, let's look at that stamp set. That is a beautiful stamp set. Um, this right here, part of my story. I love, this is my favorite. I'm so glad you're part of my story. I love that. Um, and then, uh, let's see, we've got the little, little frogs. I'm going to work with that this weekend also because I have these also. As a demonstrator, of course, I get to order a little early. So you can get this stamp set with for free with a $50 order. But then on March 1st, you'll be able to purchase the framelits for that. A lot of fun. Looks like we've even got a lily pad right there. Isn't that fun? So uh, let's go ahead and start our card today. Now, I did this with um, Coastal Cabana. Love that color, just really enjoying that color. I did some sequins on there. And inside, celebrate your day. The measurements of the card base are 11 by four and a quarter, scored at five and a half, just like this. My outside layer is five and a quarter by four, and that's a regular whisper white. My inside layer is four and three quarter by three and a half, and that's also a regular whisper white. And then I have my whisper white envelope here, and I just crafted a little uh, flower down there and on the back. Isn't that fun? So let me switch this all out and I'll get all my ink open and we will start to put this adorable card together. First we need to make this paper right here and I just did some sponging. It's very very simple sponging. Now you can get these sponges. If you go over to Stamping in the Valley, I will put um, all of the products that we use here. There'll be a measurement list for the card. Um, if you go over there uh, and you can see everything that is available that I used for this card. So I just have a piece of scrap paper down here and I have my piece of regular Whisper White at five and a quarter by four. And I've got Gorgeous Grape, Melon Mambo, Coastal Cabana. So we, I'm just going to start with my Coastal Cabana. And I take these sponges. These sponges actually come round. Okay, like that's half a sponge right there. Okay, so there's three more little pieces down here. And I cut them into six pieces. They are so economical. Um, and so I just take this, and I love the little point here because that gives me a nice handle. I see a lot of people put a binder clip on it or something like that. That's fine, too. That gives you a nice little handle there. But I go ahead and I tap, tap into my ink. I'm going to turn this sideways. And then I kind of take my sponge and I tap it off because I don't want dark ink on this at all. And then I start to swirl. Sometimes I start to swirl on the outside and then bring it into the card just so that I don't get a blob of ink. So tap, tap, tap it off and just continue to sponge just however, that, however far down that you want it. And this is great because every single card will be a, just a little bit different. It'll be the same, but just a little bit different. Now, where the color is, I like to flip my edges just around for that Coastal Cabana. I am going to bring it down just a little bit here, just a little bit more, because we want our colors to fade into itself. So when we do this swirling and kind of um, brushing motion there, you guys can see that. Now I'm going to go into my Melon Bombo 
right there and again tap it off and I'm going to start out here and then come up to the paper and I'm, I'm going to let it touch that Coastal Cabana and we're going to have one happy little birthday card here in just a minute and just keep rubbing it and rubbing in circular motion over top of this paper then I pick it up where the Melon Mambo is, I'll flick that edge also. So it looks like here on the edges it graduates into that color. So I like that. Just like that. And now we're going to get some gorgeous grape. I love gorgeous grape. Such a very, very pretty color. There we go. Just turn that around so that it's gorgeous grape is very beautiful vibrant color of purple so if you just wanted a little light just start off of the page like I'm doing and then now I'm going to flip these edges and I like the edges to be dark this way that it kind of frames out my paper here we're almost done making our background paper here just a little bit more in the middle there we go Now I'm going to come back with the Melon Mambo, and this is the greatest thing about this. You can come back as much as you want and just kind of fill in here. Just until you get the color that you want and the um, density of color that you want, you could do anything with this. I love the sponge. I try to keep my sponges in front of my ink because I start to get like really busy, and then all of a sudden I've mixed things up. Come over here with some more Coastal Cabana. And I think we've just about got this part of the card. And this is all we're, that we're going to do. This is the background right here. All right, let's move all this to the side. Now I'm going to do the sweet wishes in the Melon Mambo. So let's go ahead and put our, I'm going to use my foam mat. This is actually the piercing mat, but it's a, a good foam to um, stamp on. When you're using photopolymer, I tend to get a very nice solid image when I use this foam. And when I don't, sometimes I get like a little blotchiness. So I want to put this up in the Coastal Cabana. Just sweet wishes, just like that. Nice. Now, I've already done our pieces here. So I stamped this. Woo! Not in the ink. Okay. I stamped this in um, pumpkin pie. I used my little, that's the cupcake holder. I did my cake plate, and this is what comes in those framelits. I'll show you guys those framelits in just a second. I love this plate. I did this in just some of our silver um, foil paper. So that'll go there. Then we'll put our little cupcake um, holder, the little, um, you know, those little papers that you get to put the cupcakes on. And then I did this in gorgeous grape. Isn't that sweet with the little swirl? And all of these are going to be popped up with dimensionals, except this will not be. We're going to use some Tombow for this. Let me get these out of the way too, because this is the chocolate of the cupcake. And then this is just a little heart to say in happy birthday, right? So we just want to take some Tombow and shake that down a little bit. And just some dots along here. And you know, I always tell you, not too much Tombow. It's a very, very good adhesive. You don't need to load this up. Just a few dots will do it. A little dab will do it, right? <laughs> I'm going to put that down here. And I love the Tombow because I do get that little bit of wiggle room just in case I'm not straight. I can just kind of... <laughs> Wiggle it back and forth. So that is beautiful right there. Now our cupcake um, holder right here. I'm going to put a couple of dimensionals on. Very simple. Just like that. 
And if you didn't want this little piece right here, it's almost like the icing is coming off of it, like it's dripped down kind of thing. Um, you can just cut it right there, no problem. And then I'm going to just put this on top of our cake plate, just like we're going to serve it. And we're going to take our, um, this is our chocolate. And it'll go down like this. And you want it to go underneath there, but also pop up. So I'm going to use just a couple of mini dimensionals with this. Let's see. If that doesn't fit there, we'll have to cut a little straight piece. Let's see, because we don't want a dimensional to show. No, I think we're okay, right? We're going to put these right here. And see, we're going to tuck this under here so that it's like the chocolate. I love chocolate cake. <laughs> and now, of course, the most delicious icing, and who wouldn't want some gorgeous grape icing on their birthday cake? I used two full-size dimensionals and one mini up here on the swirl. So we're going to turn this over and see how that fits just so nicely on top of there? Just like that. Now, um, our little heart, I'm going to stick over here. Again, I'm just using a tiny bit of Tombow on the heart. I'm just going to place it right there, like it's stuck in the cupcake. And now, here are just some sequins that we um, use. This isn't the Gingham Gala. This is just our regular uh, adhesive back sequins. And I chose this uh, iridescent kind of greenish color with it to pick up the Coastal Cabana. And so we just want to drop these around just like they're sprinkles on a cake. Just like this. And we're going to deal in odd numbers because odd numbers on a card balance. And right there. Just like the sprinkles are coming down and just making it more delicious than what it looks like. All right. Now, for our inside piece, let me get that, we are going to do Celebrate Your Day. What color did I use? Okay, we used Coastal Cabana on that. Celebrate Your Day right here. And then I took the little flowers and I went into each and every color. Coastal Cabana, right there. And I've got my stamp and scrub over here, so I'm just cleaning that off. And then we'll go Gorgeous Grape. Coastal Cabana. Oh no, we already did Coastal Cabana. Whoop! <laughs> Melamambo. Just like that. Isn't that fun? And now let's just get an envelope and do that, those colors just as pretty as can be on here. Just color. We'll do a little Coastal Cabana on front and back. Clean it off. It's that simple and you could use your chamois. My um, chamois is not, I forgot to wet it. So that's why I'm using the stamp and Scrub, which either or, it's great. And now some gorgeous grape. So pretty. All right. There is our card, but <clears throat> let me move everything out of the way. Close our ink. Remember, if you guys order from me, I send you two free card kits in the mail. Um, they're about to change for the month. So uh, yeah, I'm about to close that out, and we're about to change it. Uh, up for the month, so they'll be a little different. Um, I'll do that video this weekend, okay? Now, I've got my card base here and my inside piece. I'm going to just take a little snail. Ooh, I got my envelope. Just like that. Put 
this on the inside. Now I like a larger border on my inside piece. That's just my preference. You can do whatever you want. Now I'm going to take this piece that we made and built the cupcake on and I'm going to use some snail because this is flat and that's flat. Nothing's embossed. And we have a beautiful birthday card. A fun birthday card. Pretty, pretty colors. Alright, there is our cards. But I do, I want to open these framelits for you guys and show you. You get the cupcake base. That's what I used for this. You get the little... Um, like cupcake or a cake plate then you do get this dome and this we're going to use with window sheets I love this and you can like dome it and make even a shaker card or just put a window sheet behind it, it just this is fun just fun here's the little piece for the chocolate here's our you can cut out the little flower that we did also this is the top and there's the little hole for the little swirl. I love that. We have some candles. We have our heart. We have another little um, like thing to stick in here that's round with a star. A square one. How cute is that? And then you can put that heart even in the middle of it. And then we have these three little teeny tiny hearts right here. Now you guys, we could cut these out. And when I do a shaker card, mm, that's going to look so sweet in there around that cupcake, right? Makes you want to just go order some cupcakes. So those are the framelits to this adorable set. This ad absolutely adorable stamp set. Fun. And you even, oh sorry, you even have the sprinkles right here. Cupcake sprinkles that you can sprinkle on. And there's the flower and the heart and another little flower. It's a great birthday set. And again, the Hello Cupcake stamp set is free. The framelits will come available March 1st. Please go over to stampinginthevalley.com, click on the big blue button, order any and all of your Stampin' Up! products. I appreciate every one of you guys, and happy crafting!